Hey, now look at that. That's something to see. Fish and chips. $6.95 for takeaway. Yeah. Now we're talking my price. My price range. There it is. A fish and chips place in, in Scotland. What do you think? Sound like a good idea for lunch? Where they got their fish? You think it's North Sea fish or do you think it's Arctic? I should go in and ask. I think it's North America. I don't think so. After what we've done to the cod run. You see this boat to burrow. Dive not dredged. That's an important quality in fish. As we'll talk about nicely. Never mind. Never mind St. Mary's Hospital where the royal babies were born. We got more important things in London to see here. You see where Mickey's fish and chips, very typical uh, British food, English food. Um, and it, think about this, John Cabot, when he went and discovered Cape Cod and, and uh, the British influence there, and they started going to the cod industry. And that became a staple of, of daily food, the, the fish and chips, that whole idea in, uh, in all of England. It did a couple of things. One thing it did is it drove the demand for salt because what they needed was salted cod. The other thing is it drove more and more people into the fishing industry, not only in, in, in North America, but up toward Iceland. And that led to the cod wars between Iceland and, the, and Great Britain. In the 1950s to 1970s, there were three distinct cod wars. Um, had to do with, uh, Iceland did not want Britain going after cod in international waters, okay? Now, Go ahead. It's okay. We'll cut you out. The idea of international waters was an idea that didn't exist back in the olden days. But what this really brings up is the tragedy of the commons because the international waters were considered international. Nobody owned them, so everybody could harvest the fish there. And that's exactly what they did. And the technology changed. We got into uh, bottom uh, net feeding and, and uh, all the uh, amazing amount of cod. New technologies in fishing meant they could massively catch fish, but that destroyed the future of the fishing because not only did they just, they took the big cod, but they took the little cod and they took all the, the fish that the cod would normally feed off. Of. So it ended up destroying the whole uh, North Atlantic cod industry. But um, to understand the Iceland perspective, we're going to go to Iceland. Out a little bit. So, what was the problem? I'm in this little uh, sleepy former fishing village uh, called Reykjansvar. And the uh, cod wars with the British. What that came down to was the British trawlers had gotten much more um, powerful in terms of as with all the uh, Icelandic ones as well. They had the ability to, to crawl a net along the bottom and really take every single fish. Not only the ones they wanted, but the ones they didn't want. And it was international waters, so no one had the right to tell them not to do that. So that's when Iceland and other nations decided that they wanted a 200 mile economic zone to uh, surround their land. Uh, all nations should have that so that someone's in charge of those waters. It's not an individual, but it's a nation. And Britain said, no, these are international waters. We're not gonna do that. But of course, over time, that's come to be the better solution uh, because they destroyed the whole cod industry. Uh, in Iceland, in North America, uh, as well as British waters. So uh, most of the, uh, the tragedy of the commons is when no one's in charge, anything goes, and therefore, people take more than they have to. People take more than they should because they're not necessarily worried about their future gains. They're worried more about their present gains and how many fish they bring home in this trip. Whereas when someone owns the land or when someone has the, the self-interest in preservation, someone or some nation has this self-interest, self-preservation, they're going to keep that thing going, whatever it is, whether it's... Uh, in this case, uh, fishing rights to the North Atlantic. They're gonna make sure that the population grows. They're gonna limit the types of nets they use so that you don't just catch, that you catch not only the fish you want,
want, but you don't catch the fish you don't want, the fish that are necessary in the food chain to maybe feed the fish you do want, or to um, bring the diversity to that area. So it's real important to have not the uh, tragedy of the commons, but to have someone in charge, private property, in this case a nation owns that land or has the owns the economic interest of that land.